Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is two political hacktivist attacks. Over the past few days, there's been a couple stories about two politically motivated hacks that seem to come from hacktivists. The first happened to the UK Parliament over the weekend. Apparently, 90 of the UK Parliament's around 9,000 email addresses were hacked, causing the Parliament to temporarily shut down email, locking MPs out for a period of time. According to authorities, these attacks do not seem very sophisticated and seem to be some sort of brute force attack leveraging weak passwords. The parliament has apparently notified the 90 users and is uh, making sure to enforce stronger password security practices. The second set of politically motivated hacks seem to be affecting sites in the U.S., a number of sites, but particularly a number of government sites in Ohio, including the governor's site, John Kasich. Apparently, these hacktivists have defaced these websites and replaced it with a Islamic message that says it's coming from the Islamic State, basically saying Trump is going to pay for his crimes. Now there's no guarantee this really comes from the Islamic State or if it's just some hacktivists that are they're hacking under that banner. In either case, a number of US sites have been defaced. In any case, I just wanted to share these politically motivated hacks. In both cases, authorities don't know who's behind them for sure. Uh, for instance, they haven't figured out if it's a nation state or just normal criminals that went after the parliament's email. Really, they're using some pretty basic uh, brute force password techniques, so that suggests that it's not a nation state. Nation states typically aren't that noisy. And really, the same with the hacks supposedly from the Islamic State. A web defacing is really one of the most basic, easy attacks that pretty much any hacktivist or script kitty might do if you have an insecure website. So these attacks may not come from nation state actors, but it's really hard to, to know for sure. In any case, while these hacks don't affect you, we can learn from them like everything else. First of all, password security. Make sure you're leveraging strong passwords that bad guys can't brute force. More importantly, I highly recommend you leverage two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication whenever you can, including for email. As far as website defacement, that's a little more complicated. Uh, at the very least, you should patch your web servers and make sure that all its plugins and web software is up to date. But really, your website security has a lot to do with your own custom code, and I can't teach you secure coding in a simple video. However, if you visit OWASP.org, you can learn a lot about how to uh, prevent some of the most common web application attacks. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.